Hey everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. My name is Stephanie. I'm tuning in from Minnesota where it is freezing rain. It is so, it's cold and I've got icicles hanging from my truck. Uh, but where are you tuning in from? I'm gonna give you just a really, really quick, just something to think about as you're getting ready and prepared for Thanksgiving. I know not everybody on here is from the United States. Not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving. So let's just talk about any holiday coming up, right? And so I just wanted to give you just something to think about, just to give you just like a, oh, I can do that. Whether you're at work or you are at a friend's home or you're hosting a party, um, it's just a really quick thought. So as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? How is your day going? What's the weather like where you're at? So we have freezing rain. I think in about an hour, it's supposed to snow like four to seven inches. We are going to be covered and it's so cold. Um, But anyways, so, and make sure you drink your water and stay healthy. It is the season to, we want to stay healthy. So maybe you're in like a state where it doesn't get very cold, but it gets cold and everybody will be staying inside. So here is what I want you to think about if you are at an office, if you go to an office party, if you go to celebrate with family or friends for the holidays, think about this one phrase. The phrase I usually give you is, are you hungry, right? So I'm constantly talking about when you go to the kitchen, when you're making a meal, when you go, when you find yourself grabbing something to eat, I always say, ask yourself, if, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, that's not, that's not what I'm going to have you ask. I'm going to have you ask yourself or remind yourself to do one of two things. I just want you to say either or. Either or. I don't expect most people to eat or stay on their lifestyle approach. Some of you might say diet, to stay on your diet or to eat a healthier lifestyle approach on the holidays, right? I know there's lots of people that are already going, I I blew it out. I'm done. I'm done until the beginning of the year. Well, I would encourage you not to blow it for 60 days, but I would encourage you to make better choices. And I want you to think about this either or if you go to a party or if you're having Thanksgiving at your home, or if you're at the office and there's tons of potlucks going on, right? Either or. So I love mashed potatoes. I like the buns, but I'm going to choose either or on Thanksgiving. I don't need both. And here's the deal. Hear me on this. If you decide to do whatever you want, I will not judge you and nobody else will either. If you want to stay somewhat on track, then it's just a simple tip for you. If you decide, if you're like, I'm going to do whatever I want, then you can do whatever you want. I promise no judgment whatsoever. If you want to stay on track, then this is your tip. Either or. I'm going to have the mashed potatoes and not the bun, right? Mashed potatoes or the bun, or I'm going to have the ma- the bun and not the mashed potatoes. I'm not going to have the pecan pie and the pumpkin pie, either or. I'm going to have one or the other, right? Or whatever the case may be. So I always like to tell people, you can have some of those things, right? Get back on track when you're done with your celebrating. But if you think about the either or option, it's going to keep you on track more. Now, We all know when you go dig into that apple pie or that pumpkin pie, it's going to cause a reaction of like sugar high, like crazy cravings. So you're going to have to keep yourself on track. And it's a discipline. It is a discipline to get through the next 60 days without binging and getting to the beginning of the year and going, oh, I work so hard, so hard. I'm always looking at the outcome. Or I, does anybody think about it like this? So if I see somebody eating something that I love, let's say a cookie, for example, I, I tell myself this, is it worth it? I just worked out. I went to the gym. I'm not hungry. Usually it upsets my stomach. So I have to walk myself through this in my head. I'll go, okay, that cookie smells so amazing. I just worked out. I've got some serious goals to have some serious muscles by next spring. And in about 3.5 seconds, that cookie's going to be gone. They might regret it, but I'm not going to. So sometimes I'll walk out of the room or I'll just have enough discipline to go, I'm not going to eat it. No, thank you. Right? And as soon as it's gone and other people are done with their treats, in my mind, I'm going, I still feel great. I'm still on track. And that was only three seconds of like gratitude and now it's gone. Right? Like I have to like walk myself through that sometimes of like, 
you might not feel good, but I feel good. That was only three seconds. I totally made it. I totally did it. High five, celebrate. So I don't know, whatever you have to do to get into your head that you don't have to binge for 60 days, do it, right? Um, or just use the either or option, potatoes or bread, this pie or that pie. Um, I don't know what else you have at meals. I'm a pretty simple eater. So I hope that was helpful. I just want to come on here and give you a quick tip um, as it's so dreary and cold out here. But guess what? It's okay because we can choose joy, right? So I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, message me with any questions that you have. If you're new, post new below. I just had the opportunity to interview. Her name is Dr. Mary Newport. She has some incredible books about ketones and the ketogenic lifestyle. And she has a really great story about helping her husband. Um, it's, it's really great. But anyways, it was super awesome. She got to help educate a whole bunch of people on drinking ketones, which I drink every day, and why ketones are powerful for your brain. And really, she talked about how ketones in general are a great fuel source. So remember, your body can make ketones or you can drink them. And she talked about how your entire body uses ketones, your heart, your brain, your muscles, the way your body talks to itself. Like ketones are powerful. I loved that I got to interview her. I was super honored today. And so anyways, I just, I have a lot of things I can share, different resources and different tools. Whatever your goals are, message me, send me a message or shoot a message below and I'm here to help. So if you want to know more about my mom fuel, I call it my mom fuel, but it's ketones post uh, five below. Otherwise you can chat. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that was helpful and we'll talk to you soon.